Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's been about two months or so since we last spoke about a possible Windows 12 release on the channel. And the last video I posted was around about the middle of May this year, and I'll leave that link down below and in the, and in the end screen for what it's worth. Now, I thought this may be a good time, and because we haven't spoken about a possible Windows 12 release, uh, just to let you know kind of what we know so far, because obviously things have slightly changed with the release of Copilot Plus PCs back in June. So just to give you a kind of a brief update if you would be interested. Now obviously just at the outset Microsoft has never confirmed or even spoken about a Windows 12 so everything we speak about regarding Windows 12 is pure speculation and obviously just according to rumors and um, what's going on in the media online. So basically what we know so far is that obviously Microsoft has already confirmed that this year's annual feature update uh, is going to be just that, a Windows 11 feature update version 24H2 as you will know. And this year's annual feature update originally was thought to be when Microsoft would roll out Windows 12 but that is no more as you will know. But it doesn't mean that Windows 12 will never roll out or it's never going to happen. And just to give you a bit of a breakdown, first of all, regarding the release date of a possible Windows 12. Now, this year's annual feature update is codenamed Germanium. And that's why it was originally thought that Germanium would be the base platform release for Windows 12. But as I've mentioned previously on the channel, um, it is speculated that with uh, the Windows X lead Panos Panay uh, leaving Microsoft, Microsoft uh, abandoned the plan to roll out Windows 12 and, in, and is instead focusing on this year's annual feature update, version 24H2. So obviously there was just maybe too much going on at Microsoft and a bit of a shake-up, so they just decided to stick with Windows 11. And if Windows 12 does arrive, um, I think the next release date or time frame um, for a potential Windows 12 would be, I would suggest, in the second half of next year, 2025. So that would be September, October, and November, with Microsoft um, possibly announcing Windows 12 much earlier on in the year next year. So that's regarding the release of a possible Windows 12. Now, when it comes to the system requirements, um, as mentioned, Windows 12 is just something in theory at this stage. Okay, we haven't got any hard evidence regarding Windows 12. But I have mentioned previously on the channel that currently the minimum system requirements when it comes to RAM for Windows 11 is 4 gigabytes of RAM. And I think that's where we will definitely see an increase in the system requirements, where that will be up from 4 gigs to 8 gigs for Windows 12. I think that's definitely going to happen. And... With the release now of Copilot Plus PCs, um, I think Windows 12 will be a lot more AI focused uh, because already this year's annual feature update 24H2 is going to be AI focused. So I think Microsoft will continue in that vein. So I think Windows 12 will be limited when it comes to hardware to more recent PCUs with a neural processing unit NPU or a GPU that can handle um, more on-device AI processing, similar to what we get with Copilot Plus PC. So I think that's a given, and I think Microsoft will continue in the uh, continue focusing on AI with Windows 12 in whatever shape and form. Now, when it comes to the UI, the user interface, this image has been featured on the channel and online uh, quite frequently. And back in 2022, this was leaked accidentally at, at a Microsoft event, which was thought to be the user interface and a concept and an experimental user interface for Windows 12. And a couple of uh, changes you would see would be the floating rounded taskbar at the bottom, this kind of transparent taskbar at the top with the widgets yeah, to the top left and the system tray moving from the bottom right to the top right and your search and so on centered at the top in the center with a couple of UI adjustments. Now, um, according to uh, Windows Central, this interface now, apparently according to their sources, 
was being explored as a means to improve Windows for tablet users while also maintaining a better experience for mass users. So at this stage, it's very hard to say if this is what Windows 12's user interface will more or less look like. And it's unknown um, if this so-called design for the Windows desktop will ever ship. And it will also, uh, it was also a design according to Windows Central that was explored under ex-Windows uh, boss panel Spanay's leadership, which also once again means it could have been scrapped uh, by Microsoft after, after his departure. But as we may well know, um, with major Windows product releases, they normally come with a user interface upgrade. So think Windows 95, 98 to XP, uh, XP to Vista, to Windows 7, to Windows 10, to Windows 11. So there's always a kind of upgrade or a change in the user interface. I say upgrade very lightly, but there's always a change, a significant update or change to the desktop user interface. So if there is a design, sorry, if Windows 12 ever becomes available and is, is ever rolled out, I think we could expect a user interface change when it comes to how the desktop looks like and also more um, kind of user interface adjustments deeper in the OS. Now, when it comes to a new features, um, I personally think that Windows 12 um, will likely further build on Microsoft's momentum with AI. Um, like it or hate it, that's where Microsoft seems to be going. Very hard to say what's going to be happening more or less the same time next year. And it is thought though, obviously, with Copilot Plus PCs rolling out, that Microsoft's AI, their kind of momentum with AI will bring more advanced AI capabilities into Windows 12. Now, talking about AI, um, as you may well know, back uh, in June, around about the 18th, Microsoft rolled out um, the recall, Windows recall AI feature with Copilot Plus PCs which basically remembers everything you do on your computer and creates um, snapshots and memories that can be searched for um, using a natural language. And at this stage, Microsoft pulled it, as I've posted, because there was a lot of backlash and negative feedback. So I think if Microsoft is going to roll out more advanced AI functionality in a possible Windows 12, they're going to have to do a lot more work with those advanced AI capabilities because obviously... Um, Windows Recall was not a popular choice, as we have spoken about on the channel. So guys, as I say, that's more or less what we kind of know so far about Windows 12. If you've got any interesting information, just leave it down below in the comments. It's always good to hear if there's maybe something I've missed. And obviously, as I get more info and we do hear anything about a possible Windows 12, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.